Hello everyone and welcome to the Minimalism Made Simple podcast. My name is Rebecca and I'm the blogger over at minimalismmadesimple.com. I encourage you to head on over to that website to check out our free printables. I also recently just launched my ebook, which is called Why Minimalism? The Choice is Simple. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Thank you so much for tuning in today and let's get started with today's episode. Hi everyone, your host Rebecca here and thank you for tuning in today. So starting your day with intention can help set the tone for the rest of the day and can help you feel more focused, energized, and grounded. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about three steps to an intentional morning. Step number one is to set your daily intentions. So this means taking a few moments to reflect on what you want to accomplish or focus on for the day and setting a positive and empowering intention to guide your actions. So start by taking a few deep breaths and tuning into how you're feeling. Then think about what you want to accomplish or focus on for the day. This could be anything from completing a project at work to spending quality time with loved ones to taking care of your health and overall well-being. Once you identified your intention, take a moment to visualize yourself actually achieving it. See yourself feeling happy, fulfilled, and accomplished. This can help you feel more motivated and focused as you move throughout the day. Step number two is to eat a wholesome breakfast. And this one is particularly important to me. Breakfast is often called the most important meal of the day and for good reason. Eating a nutritious and satisfying breakfast can help you feel more energized, focused, and ready to take on the day. So choose a breakfast that is nourishing and balanced. And for me, this includes things like protein, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats. Some examples might include oatmeal with fruits and nuts, a smoothie with greens and protein powder, or eggs with whole grain toast and avocado, which is personally my favorite. Taking the time to prepare prepare and enjoy a wholesome breakfast can also help you feel more centered and mindful throughout the day. The third and final step is to practice self-care. This means taking care of your physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being in whatever way feels best for you. So some examples might include meditation, gentle stretching or yoga, journaling, or a simple gratitude practice, reading or listening to something inspiring or uplifting, or taking a hot or cold shower. Choose one or more of these self-care practices that may resonate with you and make time for them in your morning routine. These practices can help you to feel more grounded, centered, and connected to yourself as you move throughout the day. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode, and I hope that these three steps to having an intentional morning has inspired you to start incorporating some of these habits into your morning routine. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to download my ebook. I will leave a link to that in the description in this podcast, and I'll go ahead and catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.